It's not surprising to see a wrestler get hurt while competing in the ring, but movie sets can be just as dangerous. Shortly after leaving WWE, Kevin Nash appeared in the Marvel movie, The Punisher. In it, Nash played a villain called The Russian. During the film, The Russian has a massive fight with the main character, Frank Castle, aka The Punisher. At the start of the fight, The Punisher stabs Kevin Nash's character with a knife. Nash just laughs it off and keeps beating up his enemy. Here's the crazy part though, that was a real knife. The actor playing The Punisher accidentally grabbed a real knife instead of a fake one. What's even crazier is that Kevin Nash didn't realize he had been stabbed until he saw the blood. Once Kevin and the film crew realized what happened, the WWE wrestler decided to just super glue the wound shut and finished filming the scene. One of the greatest movie scenes featuring a wrestler is found in one of the greatest movies ever made, the 2002 Spider-Man film. After Peter Parker gets the powers that eventually turn him into Spider-Man, he decides to enter a local wrestling competition to make some money. Parker has to last three minutes in the ring with Bone Saw McGraw, played by the legendary Macho Man Randy Savage. Behind the scenes, Macho Man insisted on performing all of his own stunts. During the final part of Bonesaw and Spider-Man's wrestling match, the superhero uses a monkey flip to send his opponent crashing into the ropes. This part had to be shot multiple times and it took a toll on Randy Savage's health. In fact, in the final cut of the movie, you can see Macho Man land on his head. According to the Macho Man's brother, Randy Savage had difficulty turning his neck after the filming and would often turn his entire torso instead. One of the movies that helped transform Batista from a popular wrestler into a successful actor was the James Bond film Spectre. In the movie, Batista plays a character named Mr. Hanks, an assassin working for a terrorist organization. Of course, he has some run-ins with James Bond, including a fight on a moving train. During the filming, Daniel Craig, the actor who played James Bond, accidentally punched Batista in the nose and actually broke it. Batista was surprisingly chill about having his nose broken. Craig apologized apologized to the animal, and they continued filming the fight scene. After competing in WWE for several years, Lita became one of the company's most popular female wrestlers. She was given a big opportunity when she appeared on the TV show Dark Angel. In the episode, Lita plays a character named Thula, the leader of a group of elite soldiers who are tasked with killing the main characters. This leads to a big fight scene that Lita was a part of. However, during the rehearsal, Lita was performing a Hurricane Rana. The stunt person buckled and accidentally dropped the WWE wrestler on her head. Lita had trouble moving her body and ended up suffering three cracks in her vertebrae and she needed surgery. Despite all that, Lita still completed the filming. Ironically, this injury actually happened in a wrestling ring. A lot of wrestlers were involved in the making of the film Ready to Rumble, including Rey Mysterio. In the early part of the movie, the main characters, Gordy and Sean, go to see a WCW Monday Nitro show. One of the matches features Rey Mysterio teaming up with Billy Kidman. At one point, Rey does a pop-up Frankensteiner on one of his opponents. The film crew had Mysterio perform the move from multiple angles and this caused Rey Mysterio's knee to give out. The injury was so bad that he missed several months of action because of it. Additionally, while not as serious, the Macho Man also got hurt during the filming of Ready to Rumble when he was accidentally punched in the face. Good job. John Cena and other WWE wrestlers have also appeared in the Fast and the Furious movies. To see what they did, watch this playlist.